Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's tip is on pivot tables for dummies. So suppose we've got this data here. It is expenditure by date and by person. So all I've done is I've entered a few dates. Uh, notice that's the same date. That's my name. Other people here. This is whether it's necessary expenditure or not. So let's say you're in the accounting department of uh, an organization and that's the amount that somebody has spent. <clears throat> now, you want to create a lot of different summaries and you can create a lot of different summaries by using a pivot table. So first thing we need to do is add some extra columns. So this is the month and to enter the month, you just type month of that, copy that down. To get the year, you type equals year, and that, and copy that down. Okay, so now we've got two different years and several different months. The next thing we, need, we can do is enter a pivot table. So let's go to insert pivot table, click OK. That brings up this. So you've got various things in a pivot table. You've got a page field, you've got a column field, a, the data and row fields. Don't worry too much what each of those means. I'll just show you how to create a summary that is useful to you based on where you put things. So let's create a yearly summary. So first thing we need to do is click on year and drag it over to row fields. And we want the yearly summary by person. So let's see who's spending what. And in the data column, I want amount. And I want the sum of the amount. So see that it says sum of the amount. I can change it though. If I go to value field settings, I can change it to sum, count, average, max, min. I think sometimes it defaults to sum, sometimes it defaults to count. So if it goes to count, change it to sum. Okay, so if I click off the pivot table, notice this helper box goes away. If I click back on it, it comes back. Here is the summary of what it's actually doing. And there we go, that's a very simple yearly summary. Suppose I want a monthly summary and obviously you've got totals here. So let's turn off this field settings, subtotals, none. I don't care about totals. Okay. So now I've just got 2008, 2009. See that says minus. I can collapse it or I can expand it. Let's have a look at month. Let's drag month in. So this is expenditure by month and let's go up here field settings no subtotals so in the second month so that'd be february that's our expenditure and there we go so suppose i want to know a breakdown of the necessary expenditure Let's click on necessary and we'll drag it up to page fields. So now I can change this to the necessary expenditure only. And there's my summary. Or if I drag this down onto here, I get a summary of necessary and unnecessary. And I can see the proportions of each. Suppose I want the total spending per person, regardless of year. Well, I can drag year up here. I can drag month up here. And there we have the total. And whether it's necessary or unnecessary. I can get rid of that and put it up there. I can then change that to only show true or change it to only show unnecessary. I can select just 08. And as you can see, I really can, I can select many items. I can select um, 08 and 09. There's lots of different things I can do with this 
to create lots of different reports. Suppose I wanted to calculate the, the yearly spending per person. So drag the year over there. That's the yearly. Suppose I want the average yearly spending per person. Right click here. Settings, average. Boom. If you want to drill down into the data, here's a useful piece of functionality. You can actually double click on something and it asks you what do you want to show. You can click date and then it adds date. And notice here we can expand Charles and find out all the dates that he spent money on. So there we go, an introduction, dummy's guide to pivot tables, lots of things you can do, have a play and make the most of pivot tables because they really are incredible. You've been listening to excelexperts.com.